Today, Governor Roy Cooper calling on state and local leaders to work together. The governor stopping by a city conference in Concord this afternoon. While there, he addressed Mecklenburg County Representative Trisha Cotham's party switch, which essentially eliminates his veto power. WCNC Charlotte's Jane Monreal joining us live now from Concord. After speaking to the governor, Jane, he really is, is calling on both parties to step up. Absolutely, Carolyn. Governor Roy Cooper's message to leaders and local politicians today focus on the need to work together, calling himself a prisoner of hope. He says that the good for all will be accomplished with bipartisan legislature, including any future decisions that Representative Cotham will have a say on. 500 civil servants and politicians gathered at Wednesday's luncheon for North Carolina's League of Municipalities three-day conference. Governor Roy Cooper saying, working together as cities and counties are the drivers essential to the economy of the entire state. Coming to an event like this, seeing all these elected officials who are closest to the people, I mean, they see them uh, almost every day and are hearing what they say. And so it's important for us as state leaders to connect with them and to work with them to help them succeed as well. When it comes to State Representative Trisha Cotham announcing her switch to the Republican Party, the governor not mincing words. Well, obviously, it's disappointing. Uh, I, I do hope that she won't go back on promises that she made to the people of her district. Cooper pointing out that Cotham has yet to sponsor any major policy changes. Uh, she has emphasized that she wants to protect women's reproductive freedom, that she wants to protect people's right to vote, that she wants to protect against discrimination for our LGBTQ plus community. All of those things she still can do. And he says that he hopes she can stand up to her new party the way that she did to the Democratic Party, especially when it comes to violating the principles that she has supported for years. Live in Charlotte, Jane Monreal, WCNC Charlotte. Jane, thanks so much.